Hello, welcome to the first episode of Core Java tutorial series. In the first episode of this tutorial series, we are going to learn about what are the initial preparation you have to done on your computer to begin the Core Java learning. So you need to install two software packages to begin the Java learning. First one is JDK. JDK is the Java compiler and second one is JRE or JVM which is used to run the compiled Java code. So here I am going to show you how to download and how to install the JDK in your computer. So open your browser and type uh, JDK download. In the search result go to the first link. This is the Oracle website. From this website, you can download the most suitable version of JDK for your computer. So go to this website. Yeah, here there are two links are available at the top of this website. This is JDK download and this is NetBeans. This is an ITE for Java development. So for the basic Java learning, there is no need of any ITE, just you need the JDK. So go to the first link. So before going to download JDK, you need to accept some license agreement. So accept the license agreement. And here, there are a lot of downloading options are available in this website. You have to select the most suitable version of JDK for your computer. Here versions for different operating systems are available for Linux, Mac, Solaris. Lot of versions are available here. So here I use a Windows platform. This is Windows 7 64 bit operating system. So I need to download this one, Windows into 64. This is the most suitable version for my computer. If you have Windows 32-bit, then you have to download this one. So I am going to download Windows into 64, which is corresponding to the 64-bit JDK. So I click this link. Yeah, now here my JDK download started. Okay, after download, go to your download folder. So now in your down download folder, you will get an installer for JDK. So this installer contains both JDK and JRE, Java Virtual Machine. There is no need to download JVM in separate software package. You can install JDK and JRE from this installer. So you have to double click this installer and uh, you can install JDK, click next, next and finally click finish. So after installing JDK, go to, go to your Windows directory by default. It is in C drive, so go to the Windows directory. In that in that directory, you can find a folder called the Program Files. Open that folder. In that folder, you have to search for a folder with the name Java. Here it is. Open that folder. In that folder, you can find out two icons with the two names, which is JDK and JRE. So here I have a two JRE because I installed two different versions of JDK. That's why there are two JRE folder. If you install Java for the first time, you will get JRE and JDK. So JDK is the Java compiler and JRE is the Java virtual machine. JDK for compiling the Java source code and JRE is for run the compiled source code. Okay, for running the compiled source code. So now you need to set up some variable path for JDK. You have to set the path for JDK. So open the JDK folder. Go to the bin folder. So copy this address from the address bar. Copy this one. Now here we are going to set up the environmental environment variables for JDK. So right click your my computer icon and select properties. Now go to advanced system settings. In this window, go to the environment variable button, click the environment variable button and in the user variables, click the new button and here you have to provide a variable name and variable value. Type 
path for variable name and paste the address and click OK. Now click OK and exit all the windows. Okay, now we successfully installed JDK and we successfully set up the Java variable path. Now we can check it out. So just click the windows logo and type CMD. This is command prompt, open command prompt and type Java C. Java C is the command for invoke the Java compiler. So if the Java in JDK installation is success and you successfully set up the Java variable path, you can see the installed directories of JDK here. Otherwise it will show JDK is not a correct command. So now we complete all the steps for preparing the computer for Java learning.